Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Friday, November 18th. Stocks on Wall Street may rebound from yesterday's losses when trading gets underway this morning. Investors in the U.S. and around the world remain focused on Europe and its continuing efforts to address the sovereign debt crisis. According to Dow Jones Newswire, a proposed plan designed to help struggling Eurozone nations is gaining traction. Under the plan, the European Central Bank would lend money to the International Monetary Fund, which would then be used to finance bailouts. German, Germany and the ECB reportedly are opposed to the idea, but there may be no viable alternative. Meanwhile, ECB President Mario Draghi demanded today that Eurozone leaders move to implement several measures they adopted months ago. Specifically, they agreed to broaden the scope and power of the European Financial Stability Facility. In theory, the bailout fund should now be allowed to buy government bonds of struggling Eurozone nations directly. But the move still hasn't been finalized. Draghi also called for stronger governance within the Eurozone. With the Eurozone bailout fund still not authorized to buy government bonds, the ECB has taken on that role. Analysts say the central bank intervened this morning to buy the sovereign debt of so-called periphery countries in order to stem the recent sell-off in the European bond market. The move doesn't seem to be doing much to bring down Italy's borrowing costs. The yield on its benchmark 10-year note is jumping back above 7 percent, the level at which Greece and Portugal were effectively shut out of the credit markets. The yield on Spain's benchmark government bond is also erasing earlier losses and climbing back to 6.7 percent. However, the moves are helping the region's currency regain some lost ground. Right now, the euro is rising back near 136 against the U.S. dollar. The dollar's relative weakness is helping commodities this morning. Crude oil is jumping back near the $100 a barrel mark, and gold prices are also rebounding from yesterday's declines, now trading close to $1,740 an ounce. On the corporate front, we're keeping an eye on shares of Boeing. The jet maker confirmed an order from Indonesia's Lion Air for 230 planes at a list price of $21.7 billion. That makes it the largest commercial airplane order in Boeing's history. The deal is for 201 737 MAXs and 29 extended range 737 900s. And it also includes purchase rights for an additional 150 planes valued at more than $14 billion. Boeing shares are jumping 2.5% on the news. But one big stock decliner this morning is Salesforce.com, down 4%. The company swung to a net loss in its latest quarter versus a profit of $21 million in the same period last year. We're also watching shares of Motorola Mobility this morning. Last night, nearly all of the company's stockholders voted in favor of its merger with Google. Motorola Mobility said it now expects the deal to close early next year. Meanwhile, we have a couple stock buybacks to tell you about. The board of Dr. Pepper Snapple approved the repurchase of an additional $1 billion of its shares. And Gap approved a new buyback program worth around $500 million. And finally, Nike declared a quarterly dividend of $0.36 cents a share on its common stock, an increase of 16% over its prior payout. That's the latest from Weiss Research. We'll be back after the opening bell with all the market reaction.